Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. Now, there is a video here of Oscar Sudi, the Member of Parliament of Cap Select, West Ingishu County. I'm so sad if still these members of parliament allied to William Ruto, they are still abusing, mocking, and underrating the Gen Z's. Oscar Sudi is now mocking the Gen Z's from his constituency that are emergency in what to work on Anja. They don't have anything to do with checking the government of the day. Ninja tundi wako na ya. Listen to whatever Oscar Sudi is saying. Ya nini ya nini. So mine ele wata nikiwa wana hivi. Wata nikiwa wana hivi tu unajua tu ninja tu ina wasumbua. Wata nikiwa wana tu hivi. Ama, ama ni aje. So, nyinyi mune zani fananisha na watu. And that is why I will still say that is Rikalia William Samuel Ruto. They are going to do nothing. Ile kiburi wakonayo, bado ipo. And nothing is going to change. And so Kenya, I want to say Kenyans that it is so sad. As a member of parliament elected, mocking, blackmailing, those who elected him, and so, as we speak, there are at least nine bodies wrapped in sacks retrieved at Kware Dam site near Mukuru Kwanjenga. As human rights activists say, they have been moved to city mortuary in Nairobi. And such is on boy. If you are doubting this, I want you to WhatsApp me. I will send you those photos and videos. You will be shocked. We are living in a country whereby the current president, during the electioneering period, he said that extrajudicial killing was not going to be seen in his government. Whatever we are seeing today, it is so sad. I want to say it is so sad as even those who are Members of parliament, allied to William Ruto, bado wako na kiburi. You know? And that is why when we are saying that William Ruto together with, with, with his cronies must go, some people are thinking like, we are wasting a lot of our time. Those who are doubting about who is William Ruto, we do understand him better than you, who is doubting William Ruto. Maybe, you get to know you got to know William Ruto during the electioneering period. But whatever is happening now, together with close allies of William Ruto, these people need to go home. There's no sympathy there. Because if young men are being butchered, like chicken, like this, then you tell me that we as Kenyans, we should keep quiet. That anyone who will have contrary opinion to yours, you must kill him or her. There is also a body of a young lady Gen Z retrieved from Roy Sambu. Dumped in a bush. And these are among Gen Z's that are being sacked, missing. Then the man, President William Ruto, is still telling us that he has a chance to correct the issues of this country. The man must go. Kenyans, if you doubt in this platform, please WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number is at the description below. I will send you the video of a young lady killed and dumped into a bush, young Gen Z. Then I want you to WhatsApp me. I will send you. Why am I saying I will send you? Because in this video, I cannot display those videos. It is so traumatizing and I might get a copyright of community guideline. 
so i will not display those photos and videos please whatsapp me i will send you those photos and videos how our young people have been wrapped dumped then you want to tell us that this is the country we want to live excuse me william ruto must go we are having broken systems across the republic of kenya and they have failed as oscar sudi is mocking us at cc ninjad ndo tuko na hakuna kitu tunapigania hii nchi hii nchi we are going to liberate this country even if it will be 10 years 5 years 1 year 2 months 14 days we are going to liberate this country it is just when william ruto will resign and when i'm saying this some people are thinking like i'm lying or i'm joking the ground is hot the ground is hot those who are living in that spora i'm telling you the ground is hot the same same man told us yes the same same man told us ahead some people saying there is massacre in gidura and he relied on to the investigation and the news that was aired by the bbc and so that was accurate our young men and women were massacred in gidurai the videos that are coming from kuru kwa jenga where our young men and women have been killed and raped in paper bags thrown into a dump site still kenyans you want to tell us that this government they have any agenda for our country enough is enough for extrajudicial judicial killing that william ruto said yet he is the president he has the ability to stop this when our people we have buried more than 41 individuals then someone is coming out to tell us we must engage in dialogue which kind of dialogue tomorrow it is me when will we be dialoguing yet our people are being killed and by the way i'm suggesting the time is now we go for these police officers we go for these dci officers we go for these ecc officers and our country must be liberated from this kind of unlawful extrajudicial killings innocent kenyans who are just having their opinion views liberating their countries that being killed wrapped into paper bags thrown into a dump site kwa mkuru kwa njenga some are being found in roshamu yet you want to tell us what it is so sad and that is why we are saying the man has failed and he must go nothing else william ruto is going to make this country to look better the man brainwashed our minds as someone who was having good agendas in this republic they announced for us during the inauguration ceremony at kasaran stadium when they were sworn in that this was the freedom that we were going to have as a country it was a freedom of destroy destroying our economy was there a freedom of killing young men and women who are liberating their country I know someone who is living maybe in diaspora. I found someone living in diaspora lecturing me how we should analyze what we we are on the ground. Tuko kwa ground tunaona Kenya inafanyika. Stop lecturing lecturing us yet you are living in Qatar. Wewe hauko kwa ground, you don't understand what is happening. You know? You don't understand what is happening. Sometimes in Kenya when there is demonstration we even fear to get out of our houses i'm telling you what i know how many people saw what happened during the demonstration of azimio some of us who were bloggers we were even fearing to get even out to buy something in our shops the same thing is happening in this demonstration we are even fearing just to be comfortable in our country sometimes we are indoors you cannot get out because of fear 
when we are saying this some people they don't know understand they don't understand what we are going through in our country they have failed in making a corrections in our economy they have failed to fulfill their promises and now they have turned against us killing us you rather kill us all of us you rather do it fast because our country is going to be liberated our country is going to be liberated it is just a matter of time when is this going to happen because we cannot have illiterate members of parliament people like oscar sudi to come and lecture jesus that they are ninja tundo in our school who told him that we want to ensure that people like oscar sudi will never and will never be elected again in this country because whatever we are going to lay it is something that is going to be permanent anyone who is going to be found still in the public resources must be killed that is it there's no other ways on that we cannot live in a country where some people want to control us the way they want their families are enjoying lives they have securities me personally i'm a blogger we always hit the government of the day i don't have securities i'm just that, that, like that no one is paying me but this is what we know that if we fight for this our country is going to be better ladies and gentlemen please i'm requesting you if you are willing to see those photos and videos whatever have happened at mkuru kwanjenga at kware a eh, dam site then roshamu the lady that was killed please want you to whatsapp me i will send you the photos and the videos ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till you meet in another video